Concrete Coma comes in with an excellent question about the simplicity of USB Type-C. He says, Type-C doesn't seem to be simplifying things yet. 40 gigabyte, 20 gigabyte, 10 gigabyte cables, 100 watts, 65 watts, not to mention cable length limitations. I'm not sure Thunderbolt 3 is the one ring that was promised. That is an excellent question. Let's take a walk, shall we? First of all, you're right. Uh, USB-C was supposed to be the one plug that solved all our problems. It was promised and designed to be the one that would replace all the mess of cables, type A, type B ports. It would, it would uh, change USB. It would replace full size, mini, micro. Yep. It would replace the fact that we had A and B plugs on different ends. You, it would be a unified plug for both ends. It would enable far more power. You could charge with it. You could transfer data. It would do video. It would do audio. It was going to be the one cable that ruled them all. Kind of like the one ring that ruled it all. Well, it turns out it's a freaking disaster. You cannot pick up the average USB Type-C cable and just know, will this cable run my monitor? Will it charge my laptop? Will it work with the new iPhones? Will it work on the older Type-C ports on motherboards from one or two years ago? Will it work on the new Gen 2 Type, uh, Gen, uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 20 gigabit per second connectors that are now showing up on motherboards? Oh my Lord, this is a disaster. Now, I am not gonna sit here and read this to you because this would take forever, but I'm gonna put this up on the screen. Um, this is this is just about Type-C. Wikipedia. This is just Type-C. <laughs> yeah, just we're not- Keeps going. We're not- And going. Hold my beer. <laughs> okay, this is a freaking disaster. Holy cow. Now, uh, I'm actually going to put us back up here because I want to talk about uh, just very, very briefly about this one section here, Ooh, talking cool. about wiring and the fact that now these letters over here on this side. Yep. Uh, in fact, I need to put us here. See these letters right here? Correct. They coincide yes. to the to the pins on the 24 pin Type C connector. Correct. Now notice that there are different types of cables: shielded, non-shielded. Um, do they send data? Do they send video? Do they send power? Positive, negative. Some are better than others. Notice that we also have 2.0 Type-C cables. Correct. You know, that's interesting because we've got Type-C in our charging station and some of them will charge something, but it won't charge the Kindle and it'll charge the bricks and it, it's really confusing. You have to play musical you, plugs. You have to play musical plugs and it, it, it irritates. And the kids are like really confused because it's like, well, this works here, but this doesn't. And then this works over here. And yeah. It's a complete- I almost need to label them for them. It's a complete, and the cables, you, you get some, you know, you order third party cables online and they're either great or they're not, or they fray or, or, or you'll get a cable that will work on this device, but not this one, but you're like, but they're both type C and they're both this. It is, it is a mess. The, the idea behind USB type C was to provide a connector that could do data transfer, that could charge, as he mentioned, up to a hundred watts. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some MacBooks with type C that actually you, you it's a, they, they put a single plug on the, on the laptop because you can plug an external monitor into it you can plug it into the wall and charge, and you can plug it into a desktop computer and transfer data at really, really high speeds, way faster than ethernet. Which, but you're out and about and you wanna plug into something, you go, oh, I'll just plug into that and charge. Why is it charging so slowly? Well, because what happens is they have to negotiate with each other. Even if you're using the best possible cable, the device you're connecting to has to have a controller chip and they have to speak the same language. And not all chargers and not all plugs are made the same. Correct. What if you plug your iPhone or your iMac into the USB Type-C port on a PC? The latest 
Z490 or X570 or B550 motherboards may have a really good type C port that provides lots of power. But one motherboard from say ASUS might provide up to 30 watts of power on the plug and a gigabyte board might only provide 15 watts. Or another one might provide more or less. Or what if they'll only do high speed char high power charging while you're not transferring data? Oh. And some USB type C ports will do video output and some won't. That's true. I've seen some new PC laptops that advertise that they'll run video over the type C, but not external GPUs, which requires Thunderbolt 3. Mm. But they'll do 20 gigabit per second for video, but they won't run a graphics card because it's not the full implementation. Not fully functional? No. How are you supposed to know that looking at advertisements and just looking at the product sheet? You're not. And That's... then you buy an external power bank thinking, because we, we covered some deals recently on the channel, 20 and uh, 10, 20 and 1,000 uh, watt uh, amp hour battery, uh, I'm not saying that right, big power bricks. Yes. They now have type C ports. Correct. And they advertise that you can charge your laptop using this big power bank. Mm -hmm. Is the controller chip on this particular power bank compatible with your particular laptop? How would you know without buying it and trying it? You could buy like two or three different ones and they would charge, That's... but you'd get this one and it would charge your MacBook at full power, but not your new uh, Acer laptop. Or vice versa. Right, and then this one will do the Acer laptop at full power, but won't charge the MacBook at full power. I've gone cross-eyed. Yep. If you're watching this going, so aren't all type C's the same? <laughs> no, they're not. It's, it's, uh, it is a shame because they took what should have been a simple, easy to understand situation and they mucked it up to the point of dumb. And I don't, I, I don't know if USB 4 will address this. USB 3 probably should never have been adapted to type C because maybe it, it allows them to iron the kinks out because USB USB 4 is is type will be, C only. Will be like second gen type C <sighs> sort of kind of not really. But how do you know just looking at existing ports is this gen 3.2 is it is it USB no. 4 is it USB and is the cable USB 4? Are they going to change the color? For USB 4? Have you noticed the colors aren't consistent regardless? No, they're some not. Some other boards have red ports, some have yellow, and some have blue. Blue, I know, or black, even. Well, the black is usually USB 2, <laughs> but not always. <laughs> if we remember, I will link this article, but you can type in USB-C in Wikipedia and find it if I forget to link it down below, but it's... um. Do you have anything to add to this? Yes. Tech 2028 presidential position. <laughs> Ban stupid USB implementations. Smack the person who decided that was a good idea upside the head. What else do you think? Uh, they've completely balls it up. Must have had lessons from AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel. There you go.